Hi there and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time around here, this is a place we talk about photography and video making every week. Today we dive again to Premiere Pro and talk about adjustment layers. What are those? Why should you be using them? And most of all, how to save a lot of time by using them. Let's go! Okay, okay, we have switched to our editing angle and opened the Premiere. I'm using my 5 photography tips tutorial as an example. What are we doing today is applying effects to our footage. I'm using color shading as an example. I have already color shaded this clip and as you can see here, I have my Lumetri color. I have my color shading in two different parts and if I'll turn this off, you can see this is how the footage will look like straight from the camera. And when I apply my color shading, the first part and the second part, this is how the final footage will look like. As you can see, these effects apply only for this one specific clip. If I move the next one, you can see those aren't applied anymore. You can't make changes if you have multiple clips selected at the same time. So you can always go back to our previous clip and select this. Click on the first one, hold down Command or Control button and click the other one. Hit Command or Control C and go to the next one and Command V to paste attributes. Okay, this might work fine if you have tiny timeline and have only few cuts in there. But if you have, for example, a 10 minute long sequence and have dozens of cuts in there, that's going to be a real nightmare. Copy, paste attributes. Another clip, paste attributes. Hmm? Hi man, what are you up to? Well, culturing my footage. Why are you doing it like that? Why aren't you using adjustment layers? Using what? Exactly. The adjustment layers are going to be the answer to our problem. What are we going to do is go down here to your project panel and hit down here where it says new item. If you can't see it, just drag this to the right and it will show up. And then adjustment layer. This window is going to pop up. Make sure you have the same settings in here than you have in your sequence. For example, I have my sequence in full HD and 24 frames per second. So I just hit OK and Premiere will drop here a new adjustment layer to our bin. Drag and drop the new adjustment layer to your timeline and make it cover all the footage you want to apply your effects. Select these Lumetri colors again, then go to adjustment layer and drop them here. As you can see, the footage is looking really weird right now because we have those Lumetri colors as well in the clip itself and in the adjustment layer. So I'm going to pack the clip and delete those from the clip. And now we have our footage color shaded nicely and evenly on everything that's under the adjustment layer in here in the beginning as well here in the end. Keep in mind that these effects are applied only on the footage that are beneath the adjustment layer. So if I take this clip and drag it above the adjustment layer, the color shading isn't applied anymore. One specific thing which is worth mentioning is making changes to motion of the footage. If you for example want to zoom in the footage a little bit, you have the adjustment layer selected, you go to controls and drag the scale up and you see nothing happens. Why? Go down to effects and search an effect called transform. You find it here in a bin called distort, double click that and now you have tools to change your footage. For example, zoom in a little bit like that. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope it helped you as a filmmaker and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers! By the way, who the hmm? heck are you and 
Why are you here in my YouTube studio?